welcome to a new video. I hope you're having an amazing day and in this video I will be trying to paint a rose. I've been feeling a little sick lately so if my voice sounds a little different that would be the reason. But anyways, on to the video. So, I've had some practice drawing roses before but the beauty in it is that you don't have to be precise in the shape of the petals. You just have to acknowledge how the layers of the petals unfold, with them being more tightly wrapped at the centre and the petals are more open further out as you go. Another thing I had to bear in mind was contrast. To define petals from each other really helps to distinguish it as a rose. So these two things were the main things I needed to bear in mind. So when trying out anything, this wasn't my first attempt, but my third. The first attempt, I wanted to use an abstract wet on wet technique, but this was a lot difficult than I thought and it didn't go quite to plan. The second attempt was the same technique as this painting, but I made it too saturated with colour too early, and I also tried to use the same exact colours that I saw in my photo reference and translating that to the painting. However, this made it a little muddy and complicated and did not achieve what I wanted. I used browns for the shadows and it was too harsh and so I started again. So I had more things to bear in mind in this third attempt and that is to stick with the maximum of three colours and to simply make shadows from saturating the colours I was using. Like with my layered flower painting, I wanted to go in with washes of colour and blending colours together while it was wet, layer by layer, and making small corrections as I went along, focusing on one petal at a time before moving to another and not painting the directly adjacent petals. Ideally, I wouldn't have done three colours as a beginner, but I couldn't help but step up to the challenge. So although I didn't show it in this video, I did sketch out an outline for the rose. This really, really helped me to concentrate on the contrast of each individual petal and guide me to make corrections. I did make the darks darker and more colourful than the original reference, and I think it turned out well. Of course there are a few things I could have done better and that was leaving out some of the page for highlights so the edges of the petals at the top can just pop. I am aware that I can add acrylic or gouache but at this point of me learning how to use watercolour I think it would be considered cheating and that was the reason why I chose not to do that. I really really enjoyed painting this rose and will definitely return to painting roses and other flowers and possibly in monochrome to focus on tone and highlights and also trying to paint a little larger to get more detail. Another thing that helped me was looking at Instagram posts on watercolour roses rather than looking for video tutorials as in this case wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Looking at other posts helped me to see how they made that contrast, what colours they used and so forth. Oh yeah, and when you see my head popping in and out of view of the camera, that is because it helps me to see and have more control when I paint, when I get closer to the painting, so that was the reason for that. I'm very excited because, at least for me, I'm seeing a difference from the last two watercolour videos and I'm seeing improvements so I'm so excited to be making videos every week and keeping this up and seeing where it takes me. There may be some videos where I'm less ambitious depending on my schedule and my health but nonetheless I'm human and will try and have my fun in necessary doses. Okie dokie, so that's all from me today. I am going to keep it rolling so this video won't be so rushed and short. So with that said, thank you very much for watching. God bless and I'll see you later.